वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डिस्क्रीट कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म एक्सिबिट्स दी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एनर्जी कंपेशन दैट इज फॉर मेनी सिग्नल्स ओनली दी फर्स्ट फ्यू डीसीटी कोएफिशिएंट्स हैव सिग्निफिकेंट मैग्नीट्यूड लेट अस राइट दी पाइथन कोड एंड कंपेयर दी ओरिजिनल सिग्नल विद 100 कोएफिशिएंट्स एंड द रिकंस्ट्रक्टेड सिग्नल विद 20 कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ डीसीटी एंड सी दी रिजल्ट्स वी हैव दी नंपाई एंड मैथप्लॉटलिप इंपोर्टेड इनटू दी प्रोजेक्ट I am going to import scientific Python fast Fourier transform that is SkyPy FFT, which provides the methods DCT and IDCT stands for discrete cosine transform and inverse discrete cosine transform methods. We will prove this in five steps. That is, first to define the signal yes having hundred elements. Second is reconstruct the signal using only twenty coefficient of DCT. That is, the reconstructed signal is only one fifth of the original signal, and calculate the error rate between the original signal yes and the reconstructed signal. Fourth is to visualize the two signals, original and the compressed signal, by plotting it graphically. This can be done in very few steps easily coming to the step 1 define the signal yes let us take 100 samples using lin space between 0 to 20 and store it in the variable t and define the signal yes as exponential of minus t by 3 multiplied by cosine of 2 times the t so our original signal yes is formed with 100 Values provided by t. Before moving on to the next step, that is reconstruct the signal. Let us visualize the original signal by plotting it using plot, which takes the parameter t for x-axis and the signal yes with blue color and hyphen yes as the marker. as we remember s is the function of exponential minus t by 3 multiplied by cos 2t let us give the legend yes on the plot because in the same plot sooner we will be plotting the reconstructed signal or the compressed signal so now let me execute it to visualize the original signal we could see our original signal yes is plotted along the t values of 0 to 20 and it has 100 unique values now coming to the second step we are going to reconstruct the signal by using only 20 coefficients of discrete cosine transform on the original signal so we will have the list windows which has 100 elements out of which first 20 is initialized to 1 and 21 to 100 takes the value of 0 in order to get the coefficients of dct first we will do the discrete cosine transform on our original signal yes using dct yes and we will do it as a normalized dct and yr is the inverse dct by having only 20 coefficients so y the dct multiplied by window which has one for only first 20 elements so yr is the inverse normalized dct signal as uh, in step 1 we have plotted our original signal now again at the end of step 2 we are moving to plot our reconstructed signal using 20 coefficient of dct that is yr it shall be red color with marked o filled in marker of o so on executing we could see that both the original signal yes with 100 elements and the reconstructed signal which has only 20 coefficients of dct have the same shape 
so our reconstructed signal is five times compressed than the original signal and it has the same characteristics as the original signal apart from visualizing the reconstructed signal it is better if we mathematically calculate the error rate between the original signal yes with 100 sample of data and the reconstructed signal which is compressed five times than the original signal because it uses only 20 coefficients of the discrete cosine transform and e is the error rate which is nothing but sum of absolute value of difference between the original and the reconstructed signal square divided by sum of absolute value of the original signal square let us print the value of e to see the error mathematically between the original and the compressed signal that is s and y r uh, on execution there is an intendation error at line number 17 and 18 after correcting it, I am executing once again uh, the plot of the original and the reconstructed signal is there. Apart from that, we see in the terminal the value of E is 0 0.00109. That is the relative error of using 20 coefficient is very small that is 0.1% but it is compressed 5 times than the original signal. So, DCT method is used for the compression techniques in videos, images and most famous one is JPEG compression. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe and click the like button. Share with your friends.